हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू होप एवरी वन ऑफ यू इज़ फिट एंड फाइन एट योर होम्स स्टूडेंट्स आई एम योर मैथ्स टीचर मिसिज मोनिका शर्मा फ्रॉम कैलिफोर्निया पब्लिक स्कूल टूडे वी विल डू द सम्स ऑफ एक्सरसाइज थर्टीन पॉइंट वन इन येस्टरडेज वीडियो आई टोल्ड यू हाउ टू डू एडिशन एंड सब्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ मनी येस टूडे आई विल टेल यू हाउ टू मल्टीप्लाई एंड डिवाइड विद द यूनिट्स ऑफ मनी so here in sum number 2 the first part is there multiply rupees 125 and 75 paise by rupees 7 now see here how to do this multiplication yes sum number 2 a part yes here it is rupees 125 75 paise multiply it by rupees 7 yes now here how to do multiplication firstly we will do the multiplication of this number by 7 without decimal means if without decimal we will write this number it will be 1 2 5 7 yes means without decimal it will be 12575 and we will multiply it by 7 Yes, when we will do multiplication, what we will get? Seven fives the thirty five, three carry seven sevens the forty nine, and three fifty two, five will be carried. Yes, then seven fives the thirty five and five forty, then four will be carried. Seven twos the fourteen plus four eighteen, one will be carried over. Then seven ones the seven, and plus one eight. Now here we got eighty-eight thousand twenty-five. But here in the question, the sum was in rupees and paise. Now here in the answer, what we will do? We will write decimal in the answer. One twenty-five seventy-five paise multiplied by rupees seven. We will get rupees eight hundred eighty and twenty-five. Pesi. Yes, here you can see decimal is after two digits. Yes, here decimal is after two digits, starting from the right. So in the answer, starting from the right after two digits, we will put the decimal, and the answer will be rupees eight hundred eighty and twenty five pesi. Now in the same way, we will do B part. What is the statement here? Here it is rupees two hundred forty four. And forty-two paise multiply it by rupees eleven. So here, firstly, we will write this statement without decimal. It will be twenty-four thousand four hundred forty-two. Yes. Then multiply it by eleven. Yes. Two ones the two, four ones the four, four ones the four, four ones the four, two ones the two. Here cross with next one we will multiply two ones the two four ones the four four ones the four four ones the four and two ones the two yes then we will do addition of these here we will get two six here eight here again eight six and here two we got here this number. Yes. After that, we have to put the decimal in the question. The decimal was after two digits from starting from the right, and in the answer again we will put decimal after two digits starting from the right. One, two, and after that we will write the decimal. So here we have to write the answer. So what we will get here answer rupees two hundred forty four and forty two paise. Multiplied by rupees eleven, we got here rupees two thousand six hundred eighty-eight and sixty-two paise. Yes, so this answer we got after doing the multiplication. Yes, now students, C part is there. In C part, what we have to do? We have to do division. Division is there rupees sixty and forty paise, and we have to divide it by four. now see here how we will do this division yes the statement is rupees 
divide it by rupees four. Yes. Here, how to do division? See it carefully because it's very important concept. Multiplication and division with the rupees and paise. Yes. So here, we will start doing division. Yes. Sixty rupees and forty paise. We will write it like this. Yes, and we have to multiply it by. Ah, uh, sorry, divide it by four. Now here is the decimal. So here above the decimal, we will put the decimal. Yes. Firstly, we will divide sixty by four. Sixty को four के साथ divide करने के बाद जो question आएगा, वो हम decimal के फ्रंट पे लिखेंगे बिकॉज सिक्सटी जो है वो डेसिमल के आ गई है तो जब हम सिक्सटी को फोर से डिवाइड करेंगे तो जो उसका क्वेश्चन है वो भी हम डेसिमल से आगे लिखेंगे यस एंड हेयर इज आफ्टर दैट फोर्टी आफ्टर द डेसिमल हेयर इट इज फोर्टी वैन वी विल डिवाइड फोर्टी बाई फोर देन वी विल राइट द क्वेश्चन आफ्टर द डेसिमल सी एट नाउ हेयर फर्स्टली सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाई फोर वी विल राइट फोर वन द फोर यस वी गॉट हेयर टू then next digit is zero twenty then four fives the twenty yes now here next digit is four we will bring it downside it is after decimal digit तो जब हम इस फोर को इस फोर से डिवाइड करेंगे तो क्वेश्चन जो होगा वो आफ्टर डेसीमल लिखेंगे बिकॉज ये जो फोर है ये आफ्टर डेसीमल वाला है yes so here फोर वन the फोर Yes. Then next digit is zero. Then four zeros the zero. Yes. So here like this we have done the division and the answer that we got that is uh, rupees sixty and forty paise divided by four we got rupees fifteen and ten paise. Yes. Like in the same way, we will do the D part. What is the statement in D part? The question is uh, rupees four hundred ten and thirty paise. Rupees four hundred ten and thirty paise. We have to divide it by rupees. That is uh, rupees ten. Yes. So here, how we will do the division? Uh, we will write this 410 and 30 decimal we will write here above then 10 is there yes so here two digits from here so 10 fours the 40 yes after that one next digit is zero 10 ones the 10 yes here will be zero now next digit is 3 Next digit is three. So after decimal three is there. So after decimal we will write the quotient. So here ten zeros the zero. Yes, ten zeros the zero. We will get here three. Then next is zero. Now it has become thirty. So here it will be ten three is the thirty. Yes, now the division is over. Yes, we got the quotient. Forty one rupees and three paise. Yes. So here, what we will write? Rupees forty four hundred ten and thirty paise divided by rupees ten. What we will get? Rupees forty one and three paise. Yes. So this answer we got. Yes, friends. Hope you have understood. You will do these sums in your maths fair notebook. Thanks and have a beautiful day.